Season's greetings, friends. I've seen these in the shop, so I couldn't resist picking one up. They were available on Amazon, which is where this one comes from, but they are much cheaper, I noticed, in the Sains of Breeze. But this is what they are. They're a festive light. You've seen them advertised as a festive light, and you plug them in, which I'm going to do right now. And what they do, ah, apart from blinding you, and you're not quite seeing that in the camera, is projecting some snowflakes all over the place. And I can see some fingerprints in there, so someone wasn't wiping their hands properly, but have a look there. That's what you see. And the idea is you put them in the garden and you fire them at your house and then you get nice snowflakes all over your, your property. And I suppose you can use them indoors as well and they come with a spike and a wall mount and other stuff. But I was a bit curious to see how they work. And I did notice on the bottom it does have this little panel. So I'm going to start with the panel, but I think we're probably going to have to go in at the end to see where the, the gubbins go. Interesting enough, they have this feature here. I wonder if that's something to do with the bracket. Not to worry, though. Now that's quite stiff. They are really quite well made, though, I have to admit. I was eyeballing up uh, one of these we bought a few weeks ago at work. And uh, all the waterproofness of this, all, it's all quite convincing. But no, it's all quite convincing. It came with five meters of cable as well, which would probably suit a lot of people. Um, not quite suits my particular location, so I was trying to work out if I can buy some extension pieces for it to give me a little bit more, but that's okay. Wow, so you can see there, that panel really is just an access panel. I don't think um, it does anything on this model, but perhaps for other models it allows you to do something interesting. But I will zoom in so you can see in there, there are four static images of snowflakes. They're literally just sitting in there doing nothing. And then opposite them there's this which is a rotating array of um, lenses. Just regular regular lenses. So that's kind of curious. Again, I wonder why that exists. There might be options on some of these to change change the pictures. And there could have been a mechanism. You could definitely see that there would be scope there to have a mechanism to actually get in there and change things. Now we did get a little uh, internal uh, thing that looks like a candle, like an electronic candle, but on the top it has one of these assemblies which uh, shows four different pictures like Frosty the Snowman, a reindeer, Santa Claus and a present and that's all in full colour. So it doesn't have to be a silhouette, it could just actually be a photo like we used to get on those those stereo master, a few master things as a kid, if you remember those where you uh, look through them and push that little black lever and go, ooh, some weird old landmark. I don't really remember as a kid caring too much about those. I remember playing with them, but I don't remember just, just flicking through the pictures as quickly as possible. So that's the front um, lens. It looks like maybe it's slightly curved. Very good heavy quality and a very nice gasket. So. You've got some reasonable chance of this surviving outdoors. And there is that rotating assembly. So that's just the end of a motor. Let's see if there's... Oh, there is. I, I honestly didn't expect that we'd be able to unscrew that without the motor spinning around. But I guess because it's geared, there's enough torque there to stop that. Nothing too exciting there. Literally just some lenses. Let's turn this off. Oop, I turn off the wrong thing. Unplug it. So we can have a closer look. So definitely four pieces of film, and on each piece of film is technically a photograph, just pretty much a photograph of a an artificial snowflake, and there are obviously four of those. You could probably make uh, your own inserts for this. So I'm trying to think, how would you produce that? You maybe you could laser print onto a bit of overhead projector foam or, or just to... when I say laser print by the way it's because the inkjet prints would probably be a little bit too opaque but where I've done it for making t-shirts I've had to sometimes use a couple of pieces of acetate so maybe even laser printing might not get that 
opacity right because you really don't want any light to come through but that's okay it really is like a piece of film um, just like I remember a film camera is having you can see there loads of fingerprints on it though loads of fingerprints and there's your four little snowflakes It'd be quite nice to do one with video game stuff wouldn't it I'd have a Super Nintendo, an Atari ST, a BBC Micro, and a TRS-80. Those would be my, my selections there. What would your selection be for your retro, retro Christmas decks? And then the final piece, and this looks absolutely exactly like the mechanism in the other one, so clearly they're using the same mechanism, is this uh, LED uh, setup here which has four super duper duper bright LEDs and then they're uh, tapped off that it's just this little motor little gearbox motor that's just sitting there and if you try to turn that by hand you can't move it there's zero possibility that you'll have enough torque to turn that that just gives you an idea of how slowly geared it is so when you see those snowflakes whisking around whipping around your your uh, house when you've got it shining on the side it's a very small play of the lens that's doing that. And you can take that final bit off while we're at it. You can see there, so if we plug this in, we're going to be absolutely blinded. Oh gosh! Now it's really hard to describe how blind that blinding that is. I mean, I can I'm not even staring into it directly and it's it's it really is hurting my eyes. You can see that this stuff is absolutely amazing at um, absorbing that light it's really not letting anything through um, watch when I just take it you can see when I take it off how bright that is and it's actually getting quite warm definitely uh, putting out some some current there so I want to give you my conclusion though of this uh, in operation um, yeah really good <laughs> so you see them around between 11 and 13 pounds and you're wondering should I get one I think yeah get one I mean even just for this power supply alone um, be a bit of fun I mean this is 14 volts at 300 milliamps and you've got a nice bit of waterproof cable on there I mean you could probably do quite a lot with that I would certainly uh, think that could be actually quite useful in itself so hopefully that's been of some use to you I gotta go and put this back together before anybody notices that it's gone as ever thank you for watching <laughs>